I've actually never made my coffee like this. I saw it on TikTok last night, so I thought I'd try it. Taste test. Yum. Oh my God, wait, that's actually so good. Ooh, wow. Good morning. Hello, welcome back to another vlog. I got me a waffle with a banana and some honey. Why am I shaking like that? What's up? I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while. Slay! Slay! Smack my ass. That was good. Welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I'm running out of things to talk about and do. Like these vlogs are honestly giving desperate. It's just, I don't really do much, you know? The last two weeks I had like three COVID scares. So I'm kind of like, not super hell bent on like doing things. But I know it'd be a lot scarier if people weren't vaccinated. So thankful for the vaccines, really. Very good. Yeah, I'm running out of things to talk about. I'm just eating my waffles. I don't really know what to say. Welcome back. Fun fact, actually really, really sad fact. I had a power outage happen while my big, massive hard drive was plugged into my computer and while it was like, I was like openly doing a project and my power went out for like half a second and came back on and it like fucked up the hard drive. The last two days I have spent taking like the multiple terabytes. I have like probably seven terabytes worth of projects that are like mine, my clients, etc. And if you know what seven terabytes are, it's 100 gigabytes seven times, I think. It's a lot. No. It's like 900 gigabytes seven times. It's like a thousand gigabytes seven. Is it 7,000 gigabytes? I don't even know. Yes, I believe so. It has taken two days. Basically, the process is because my hard drive is like semi damaged, I have to take all the projects, put them on another drive. Then I have to delete everything off of the other hard drive. Then I have to restart it. Then I have to put everything back on the hard drive and then hopefully it'll work again. I don't even know. This is what I hate about technology. This is called being a business bitch. This is just the consequences of being a business woman. All right. I think it's gonna rain today. Ready, let's try it. Yeah, I'm gonna make avocado toast. Just found out I'm out of avocado, so I'm gonna use cream cheese and tomatoes. I'm eating my breakfast. I just have eggs with toast and cream cheese and tomato. I bought two huge tomatoes that I need to use. Tomato check. Mm. I just scarfed out my breakfast because I want to tell you about the package I got. So, little backstory. I um, was editing Kelsey's vlog. If you don't know, I edit for Kelsey. Crapple. Her and Cody ordered these things from Enchilositos Treats. And they are packs of candies that are covered in chamoy, I believe. And you know I had to get them. So we're gonna try them. This is them. If you wanna, if you wanna go check them out. So let's see, what did I get? I got Fruity Square, Gummy Worm, Sour Straw, and Cluster. Um, <laughs> bitch, I'm ready to dive in. Okay, let's start with the clust, the clusters. Oh, wow. Look at that clust. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Wow. Oh my God. It's like sweet, sour, savory, salty. All at once. Wow. I'm not sure if coffee is the best thing to wash it down with, but let's try the let's try the straws. The sour straws are a top seller. Enchilositos, yum! These are the straws. Oh, these look gnarly. <laughs> I guess they're like sour straws. Yeah. Yum. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Yum. I definitely still think the clusters are my number ones right now, but. These are so really good. So let's try the fruity squares. Ooh, the squares. They're squarey. That's what the squares look like. Yum. Okay, wow. Mmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. 
Wow, that's an experience, yes. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna take you on a journey. You put them in your mouth, right? And then it hits you right away. And then you have to keep going with it, keep chewing it. And then you finally come to the end where you get all the flavor. Very, mmm, these are so good. I'll give you a rating after, but wow. Last time we had the gummy, the gummy worms. Ooh, okay, these look gnarly. I don't know if I'm gonna like these, but these are the gummy worms. Mmm, ooh, mmm, yum. Now it's time for the rating. Oh my God, it's like still lingering in my mouth. And fourth place, we have the gummy worms, then the straws. In second place, we're gonna have the fruity squares, and then first place, the clusters. These bitches are yummy. I think Kelsey talked about how she liked the clusters. Oh my God, same taste, bestie. Catch me ordering these again. Ew. everyone currently living my best life right now i just got back from the grocery store and i'm munching so let me give you a tour went to trader joe's got some of this wine country chicken salad very good actually and then i made my own little charcuterie board i made my own little charcuterie board i got some smoked gouda from the farmer's market look at this fucking cucumber this is a cucumber and then crackers so i haven't vlogged in a couple weeks sometimes i just get in my head about it and then yes <laughs> Oh, I also got some figs. Kinda tastes like dirt, but yum. What's been up? I got the world's ugliest couch from a thrift store the other day. It brings character, so don't clock me. But I was out and I was by a Starbucks and I got pumpkin spice latte. When I got in the car, took my first sip of it, I immediately exploded. Summer is over. Fall is here. So the plan for today is be myself, like always. Um, but I'm going live later to do a really special live. I went to a Asian grocery store. I got like a bunch of snacks and like food and I'm gonna be trying it on camera. So make sure to follow me for fun things like that on Twitch. I love going live on Twitch. It's my best thing ever. I'm trying to get back into loving YouTube again, but it's hard because I'm really critical. I'm very critical of my own videos. Sometimes I don't understand the point. You know, I feel like I get caught up in like, no one's watching it, no one cares about your life. But then it's like, but I care. I care about my life. I wanna vlog because I like doing it. Why can't we just get over that? Thumbnail time. Why it's hard to be a YouTuber? <laughs> Why it's hard to be a small YouTuber who doesn't know what the fuck to do to make herself different from others, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like just being here, you and I, it's just like fun. It's like us. I love it. I was like, Sitting in the car waiting for my drink. I did like a mobile order. And I'm just like, why am I so scared of like the opinions of other people? You know, like why? A lion doesn't need the opinion of a sheep, huh? Girl, this is smoked Gouda. Mm. It's from this place called um, Utterly Cool Creamery. It's like so much mental preparation goes to like grabbing the camera, sitting down and vlogging. That's what I'm like thinking about sometimes, but I just need to like let it go. And like the video that you saw before this, I've been holding on to it for like a month because I was just like so afraid to upload it because it's a very vulnerable video. But we all wanna see the couch? Let's go. Ta-da! This is the couch. <laughs> this is the couch. This is the couch. It's a little, it's a little much. And it can hold three people. My other couch is over there. And there's just more seating. I saw it and I had to have it, period. It is very bold with the rug, I will say that. Me and Moffy love to sit. Why did my eyes do that? <laughs> my living room is coming together. I'm very excited. Kind of smells a little bit. Kind of smells. It's different. It's cool, okay? 